Hello, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is your mid February to March reading. I'm late with it. Forgive me, please. Um, this is for the sign of Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts. If this resonates with you, you can deal. If not, you just loop your nose away it goes. No point worrying about shit. They ain't got nothing to do with you and ain't none of your business unless you know you, right? Okay, so Taurus, you might want to watch Aries because y'all's. Y'all sound like each other a little bit, but this is like the other side. This is like if I was doing a Thunderdome. I think I said that before. During, the thun during somebody else's readings, like them and another person, but I can't remember. But it's like the both of you are just on opposite ends. All right, I'm also using my new Dolly deck, so I get to show y'all the imagery because I, I'm still learning what it is. Like, I don't like looking at cards from a book standpoint. I just like licking, right? Because they're very, very interesting cards. So, Taurus and Crosswatcher, right? This person's got the full card. Like, look at them. They're kind of like dreaming of looking victorious, fabulous, like nice titties and all. You know, just right there. Yeah. But that's possibly a bad judgment call. It's probably a bad idea. Like, whatever they envision with this victory. I'm not sure, but it's like, oh, a new standpoint, a new, new beginning. It's like, no, that's not, a, that's not a good idea, man. That's not at all. Not at all. In the situation below, we got the moon. Could be cancer. Or just water in general. Could also be Pisces, because, you know, this deck is crazy. But... I would venture to say that someone's influence did not work in the best way possible when it came to these secrets. Like, somehow it was topsy-turvy, upside down, things didn't go as well as it seems. Like, I, I, I think people are trying to figure out why is there a radioactive giant crab thingy and a face on the moon in the middle of the night in the city. And it's like somebody's kind of regretting how they went about things and how things came out. It appears. Let's see, what was that? Oh, that's just a bunch of people doing shit. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was me phone. Anyway, the wants and wishes, el diablo, or the devil. But it's like, it's got the sign of, I think. Is that Mars? I want to say Mars, because Mars used to be my favorite Sailor Moon character. But, look at how this card appears. The person's chasing a butterfly on a stick. There are these dark hands and dark cloud possessing this person to run off the edge of this cliff, almost like the traditional fool. Now, is the devil actually causing this person to try to go off of the cliff? Chasing butterflies and shit? That are literally like chained to the stick you're trying to catch them with? Or does this person believe that this butterfly will help them fly? And is this influence trying to figure out a way to uncloud them? Or whatnot? It's also Capricorn as well, but this is a want and wish. It's like, wherever this person's going, it's like they're being led like, like a carrot on the stick. And it's definitely leading to a point of like where everything's just kind of like blah, 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 right fears and rejections below that this is the six of cups but it's reversed right so it's like look it's like almost like this happy portrait this happy um home happy past and now it's just kind of like you know not so much those days are kind of old, over and done with. They kind of look older now. And their smiles aren't as genuine. And there's a lot more fighting, I feel like, too. Hmm. Now, your fears of rejections, Taurus and Crocs Watchers. Five of Cups reverse. A lot of dramatics. We came to ending this shit to where it can't be Give it another chance, I feel like. Like, either to you, 
Or your person. This offer looks like absolute shit. And it starts how it'll end. Two of Swords. I feel like he's really tortured. With how he's going about shit. Like one hand puts the components together, as in this picture, if you can see. He's putting components together with one hand, and the other hand is studying the book. And it's just kind of like, are you going by smarts or by experience when it comes to um, sticking around or looking for a reason to stick around? And this is what I'm, <laughs> this is what I um, am naming your title, Taurus. Uh, thoughts and prayers, y'all. Thoughts and prayers, because that's literally what this card reminded me of. Nine of Swords, thoughts and prayers. Like, this bitch looks so tortured. With angels all around her, but it's also like, you know, the devil card's out here, and it's like, is that like the same influence, but under a different kind of, uh, mask? Because that could be the case, but yeah. Your, the title of your video is Thoughts and Prayers, just because of your beginning theme, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So, the vibration and energy of the person. Everyone looked victorious with whatever new endeavor. But that's a shitty idea. Not a very good idea in the slightest, you know. All it's gonna do is lead to heartbreak. And then, taking the new journey. Oh, well, that's nice. What else comes after that, then? I want to see. And this person, yeah, this person is still going to shoot forth, but it's like, Taurus, you might be the one actually going to be taking a leap of faith after all of this heartbreaking or whatever. Um, this person wants one for the wrong ideas. You might just want to hurt a bitch. I'm just saying. Mm. The Mooniverse and the Four of Cupturverse. Secrets came out. The influence came out about this giant crab thing that attacked the city. And there are regrets about how it attacked the city. So what people can view, anyway. Yeah, someone definitely has regrets and they want to run away from that. Just knock over all the other cops and take the one they value most and just leave, if you will. You know, trying to look up information on how to do that in order to spin their wicked webs, if you will. Because they got a wish right here. There's that wish card. In Aries' video, um... The wish card was kind of... It was always reversed, so I'm not sure if that was you or them, Taurus, but I feel like y'all is actually connected for once, because it's very much from a different perspective. That wish comes with a lack of healing or reaching out or understanding. Uh, this is coming from what someone thinks inside, if you will. And that leads to the Four of Cups scenario, where they're just like, Oh, okay. Um, Maybe shattering everything wasn't a great idea because it was a lot of stuff to build up to, too. But you know, all those sneaky sneaks in order to avoid a tower. Mm. Mm. Taurus and cross watchers. I don't know. Okay, so the devil with the ten of pentacles reverse. Are you being influenced or are you influencing somebody else to run off the cliff? Mm. Torch, I don't think you're giving in. 
I, I don't think you're giving in to this offer. And you got the Ace of Pentacles reversed over there, too. Hi, kitten. Come on. Come on. I see you. Are you coming up here? So I'm doing my cards. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, no, Taurus. I don't think you're entertaining this. <laughs> like, Taurus and Crosswatcher? I feel like if this person is expecting you to, like, do whatever, they are completely wrong. You are being very hard headed. <laughs> That's why I feel like you and Aries are kind of connected with this, right? Yeah, no, you're tapping into your Queen of Swords energy, just being like, nah, I got butterflies, I gotta spread on over the earth, and I don't have time for shit. I gotta work to be a queen, after all. Or you're dealing with an air sign, he's helping you make this decision. Ugh, okay. Yeah, once again, the sneaky sneaks, in order to avoid the tower, um, someone's definitely trying to get out of that headspace, though. Or trying to get away from, like, this idea that they have to go about this. Possibly with Nary's, I'm just saying, because you guys' readings are pretty close together. Might be with an Aries who's just, like, kind of being bullheaded at this point, too. Um, Aries who watched my Aries reading, sorry. You might, it's probably not you, but don't take it as you either. Um, still, very much controlling, very much in the element of, like, a lot of regrets on their side. But they need to, like, actually... I feel like they need to get the right idea, and they'll only get the right idea if they actually sit down and listen. Whether or not they'll do that, I have no idea. But it's going to have to go to a point where it's, like, Queen of Swords energy, where people getting cut off. Sending butterflies to death. Alright, which one was this again? Oh, Six of Cups with uh, Five of Wands. It's like, they're not kids anymore, and there's fights. Or that's the obstacle and challenge. It's like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna start an argument. You might have to seduce some motherfucker. That might be what's coming down. You're probably gonna have to seduce somebody. Ten of Cups. If you're gonna like start this fight, like just bring someone to the bedroom and just be like, "Oh, well, let's go do something kinky, baby. Put the blindfold on," and you just shove a funnel in their mouth and just fart so hard into that funnel, yeah, just to kill it. You know, ooh, 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 kitten. I need to drop you, man, because I dropped everything on the floor. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Oh, let's see. Sorry. I know you just got comfortable. All right, let's see. Um, all right, so it's kind of like, you know, we're all going to crash and burn, so I might as well make sure to take the turn extra sharp today. You know, make sure that this offer isn't as good as it appears, right? You're probably gather with the bitches, just being like, look, we're gonna spread some gossip or whatever, right? We don't care, like, we need to come together and do this, you know? Because, uh, there's no point in waiting to wander when you can go ahead and wander. Even if, like, your king is sitting there waiting for you to come back, you know? And vice versa. King of Cups reverse. Mmm. Let me mind my business. <laughs> yeah, let me mind my business about that guy right there. Uh, he just came in out of nowhere, so we're not going to talk about him. Mm-hmm. Anyway, 
Oh my. I was not expecting that. Um, here's a rejection. Five of Cups reverse. Bad situation where everyone broke up and, and like it led to the point where it was just like this offer has no fucking meaning. Queen of Swords is shooting her butterflies of death at the pentacle, which is reverse. Trying to go for the door, right? Yeah, because it's just going to lead to a car crash. Everyone's just going to crash and burn. It's just going to lead to more fighting, more arguments. Chariot could be definitely with a water sign. Cancer, right? What is the Six of Cups? It's like, no, this shit's over. We're not kids anymore. It doesn't work anymore. One more. And that's all just to avoid a tower. But they don't want to learn a lesson. Basically. Uh, how shit starts, how to end. I can never remember these cards, but it's okay. Two of Swords with the... Six of Swords, which kind of makes Eight of Swords, which means that this person's probably trapped. Well, no, because the Six is reversed, so it makes the Four of Swords, so it feels like there's no recovery in this, too. Whichever way you want to look at it, um, someone's stuck in their head about shit, for sure. But it's like, do I go by my experience? Or the theories behind why I'm doing what I'm doing? You know, like, he's looking at a book and... He's working on things, and it's just like, is it the experience, or is it because you know what you know? Like, you're familiar with the shit, which is what's causing you to stick around. Which could be a possibility. You know? Let's see. Because, you know, this shit's broke. It's a broken house. Yeah. It's time for a new beginning. Oh my, so is that why the King of Cups comes out like he does, all nift and shit? Because he is reversed and he is just looking like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think you want a new love, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Nine of Swords, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Sending out messages. Aw, oh, someone's gonna send you some thoughts and prayers. <laughs> oh, someone's sending thoughts and prayers to your dramaticness, Taurus. That's awesome, dude. You got people who are sending stuff your way. You might be getting news that you weren't expecting to. Just out of nowhere, from somebody you... you didn't see coming, I think it is. It's like, just out of nowhere, out of the blue, it's just like, oh, um, thank you very kindly. This is really awesome, you know? But yeah, um, you're getting your thoughts and prayers, man. Like, things are coming your way. It's just, it's seedlings floating in the sky, so it might just take a minute before it completely gets there. So let's see. With this vibration over here, this person, like, I feel like, Taurus, with the Aries reading, for sure, it felt like you were the one who was just deciding, no, you know, I, I don't want it, and you were making up reasons for why you don't want it, but it's like, it's kind of like, um, it's almost like a sense of, like, doneness, or whatever, you know? Like, this is the burden you just want to put down, just for a second, you just want to take a nap. That's all. I, I, I just want some sleep, you know. But it's like someone keeps coming back up in your ear just talking nonsense. And it's just, it, it, it gets you in the energy of, like, constantly having to put up a battle. Like, Queen of Wands has two lions fighting on her throne, so she will throw down. And the kitty's agitating her, so she's getting ready to throw down the kitty. One way or another. Like, the lizard's hissing at it and shit, and it still won't go away worse it's got an ugly meow it's like mow <laughs> like it's smoked for 20 years <laughs> let's see the situation eight of cups page of swords eight of pentacles i really think that like you're just 
there's something that you found out about, I feel like, and you're just done, and you're just plotting. You or the person you're dealing with. Um, love will definitely be offered. Either to you or by you. But you're like, no. I love you, but no. It's not enough. Wants and wishes. You aren't taking the offer because you'd rather just work on yourself. And you're sending your butterflies of death to cut off that offer, for sure. I feel like you feel like the fears of rejections is, is just... Yeah, I feel like you feel like the offer is bad because you're already aware that it's just to avoid a bad situation. Um, which, in reality, if you went with it, like... It would definitely be a bad situation. But you're definitely trying to cut that off. It's just like the motherfucker won't let you take a nap. <laughs> like, you, you, like you're sick. And like they're bothering you with their shit. It's not even a real flower they're sticking in your face. It's like one of those Walmart fake flowers. And they just put a bunch of like fucking cinnamon on it to make it smell good. And then just shoved it up your nose. Which, fun fact, cinnamon and cocoa powder, if it's all in the air and shit, it'll actually clog your lungs up. And, like, you could suffocate if the room's full of it like a powder. I know, weird shit. Anyway, uh, my mom's a Virgo, so that happens. Anyway. Yeah, it's like, they just want to choke out the lion. Possibly you. You know, just because... Like, not even, like, being considerate or caring about that lion. Like, look, the lion trusts this bitch, right? Look at how, look at, it's purring, right? And, and like, she, she's just like, yeah, you keep purring, you know? And it's just like, that was a victory that they really, really, really didn't want to do because they really like the way you, um, took care of them, pretty much. They just won't leave you alone and you're trying to cut it off. It's just like, dude, like, bro, back up just a little bit. And it's gonna be to the point where you probably are gonna have to, like, impulsively just get away from this shit. It's like it's always a nagging thing, like, nag, 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 or something else. But it's, like, reverse, so the bitch is actually shocked that you walked away. It's just like, wait, what? what? Where are you going? I'm dropping one more on that, actually. Like, I wasn't done dragging you through the fire. Like, it, it's like you had enough. It's like... It's like you want to go before you see the signs that you're going to be dragged through the fire, possibly, once again, Taurus and Crosswatcher. It's just like, how many times... How many times am I going to get, like, third-degree burns? Ugh. Let's see. Obstacles and challenges. Seducing somebody in order to end things with a King of Cups reverse. Mm. There might be regrets that one will not be able to get over. Just keeps pouring, never ends, right? Because it feels like something was stolen from them. Not inadvertently either. Like, the little shit knew what they were doing, right? All right. Uh, fears and rejections, like, this offer comes with, like, a car crash, and understanding that, like, both of y'all are just not, like, childish anymore, and it's just, this is just an attempt, really, just to, um, avoid a bad situation with the tower, or avoid, like, learning a lesson, right? You're gonna have to go real deep with your spirit animal, turn your stick into a snake, and meet Marty the dog, or whatever the fuck I named them, I can't remember, um... It's kind of like you're going to have to look inside and realize that um, the sleep of faith is required. You're going to have to fake your death or something. Like, just jump off the cliffs. There's another ledge underneath where no one can see. Not really, because, like, if you find a cliff, you could die. So, it's not literally, you know. Let's see. How does shit start? How it end? The devil card right here. Someone doesn't fall for temptation. And then they gotta watch someone get out of the cold. On their own, you know. Like, 
at a crossroads, someone can help them out. Might be watching a person. Like, it could be this person who's sending a message of thoughts and prayers your way. Um, Taurus and cross watchers. But it does seem like, you know, like a... Well, someone's sending you thoughts and prayers at your crossroads. Pretty much. Anyway, that's the end of the reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, um, you guys have a wonderful day. I love y'all's faces. Stay out of trouble. Best of luck to you with your thoughts and prayers. And uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.